Oh, hello there. I'm Mr. Perkins. I'm one of the drivers on Sodor. Usually, I drive Thomas, but he's off working in other countries at the moment. I do hope he's being careful and not racing around. Thomas does love to race, especially with his good friend, Bertie, the bus. I remember when Thomas and Bertie first met. There's a story about it in one of these books. Ah, here we are. Thomas and Bertie. One day, Thomas was waiting at the junction with Annie and Clarabel when a bus came into the yard. I'm Bertie, said the bus. I've come to help you with your passengers. Help me, said Thomas. Yes, I can go faster than you, said Bertie. You can't, said Thomas. I'll race you, said Bertie. Their drivers agreed. Bertie raced off ahead at first, but he had to stop at the level crossing. Poor Bertie was left fuming at the gates, while Thomas sailed happily past. Goodbye, Bertie, called Thomas. He's very cheeky, isn't he? Come along, come along, sang Thomas. We're coming along, we're coming along, sang Annie and Clarabel. Then Thomas whistled in horror. Up ahead, Bertie was crossing the bridge over the railway, tooting triumphantly on his horn. Thomas stopped to let passengers off at the next station. Goodbye, Thomas. You must be tired, said Bertie. Oh, dear, thought Thomas. We've lost. But as they rumbled over the bridge, there was Bertie waiting at the red light. Now Thomas reached his full speed and slowly but surely he drew ahead, leaving Bertie far behind. Thomas, Annie and Clarabel whooshed into the last station. The passengers gave them three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray! Thomas and Bertie often talk about their race, but Bertie's passengers don't like being bounced about like peas in a frying pan. And Sir Topham Hatt has warned Thomas about racing. So, although they would like to have a race, I don't think they ever will. Or will they? Well, I better go and collect my passengers. Hip, hip, hooray! See you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>